Good morning, students. We we are discussing about chords. Now let us see about the chords further. Can all citizens get free a good treatment from the chords? That is what we must. Here, does everyone have access to the chords? Can anybody and everybody get good to the chords? Will be getting justice. These are the normal doubts we are having. According to the Constitution, every citizen should have access to the courts, any legal systems, and get correct legal solution. Justice should be provided to the person. So, all citizens can access the courts in this country. Everybody is asked for the constitution. Every citizen is permitted to access the court and get a legal solution to this problem. It is permitted. Nobody is exempted. If you are a citizen of India, you have the right. That is it. If any citizen believes that their rights are being violated, they can approach the court for justice. In any way, if you are not permitted to speak, if you are not permitted to study, if you are not permitted to practice your religion, if you are not permitted to propagate your language or uh, uh, culture, even, if you are a freedom of movement is restricted. So, like that, many, many things you are permitted to go to court. And any matters that you feel injustice has taken place to. So that is the use of the court. You see, in reality, access to courts always been difficult for most majority of the poor in India. We speak, I speak like this very nice. But we know the reality is very difficult. Even if we go to the court, getting justice from the court is very difficult. It's a process is very that's a reality. Okay. Now, legal procedures involve a lot of money, paperwork, and time. So much of money should be paid. Like advocate should be paid money. Because advocate or lawyer, he wants money, he works for that, he should be paid money. Then there are some money should be given. Very less money to give to courts. But when you go to court for something, you will lose your chance of employment. On that day, you are a daily wage and you lose us the wage. So you cannot do. Even if you are uh, otherwise, when you are leaving, you will go. You cannot go to the court. And expenditure going, transportation going up and down, the food on that day. So, like that, so much expenditure is there for going to the court. Then, paperwork, how much reports, how much things should be there, where only I have to make the copies and all those things, the expenditure is there, and so much time is used. Days and days may have months and years before to make case may come in. All those problems are there. For an illiterate, poor, and daily wage earning person, the idea of going to court to get justice often seems remote because he does not know how to write the paperwork. What is written by some other person will read, whether he has written correctly, it is very difficult. So, problems are there for you. Then, poor money is problem is there. Then, you are a daily wage and earning person. Then, what happens? You lose that salary, income of that day. So, you cannot live without that. Daily, you go to work and with that daily money you will live. So, one day you are not going for a job, you cannot survive. So, such kind of person is very difficult. That is what we must understand. Okay. In response to this, the Supreme Court in the early 90s devised a mechanism of public investigation or PIA. So sometimes everybody cannot go to court. So Supreme Court has told them, if we have got a complaint, if we cannot come to the court, please write to Supreme Court in a postcard. Or in any other means, inform the Supreme Court. Supreme Court will take the cases. That is known as a PIA, public interest litigation. 
so any matters concerning your area if there is a um, cleaning is not taking place municipality is not doing the work you have request to municipality many times municipality doesn't come and do anything then you can go to the find a card telling that in our area we cannot survive public safety public health facility is responsible to the government government is not doing please do something then so we go to take up the case directly and you can know, tell the legal matters to be done to the municipality to do it so like that many cases are many things were done by the supreme court by pia public interest litigation litigation is a case that's all that's all so it allowed any individual or all the organization it's not only individual organizers also can go to file a pia public interest litigation this is a public interest litigation okay in the high court or the supreme court or on behalf of those whose rights were being violated your right to have a healthy life non polluted life it is not taking place we are paying money to municipality for that the municipality is not doing it. if somebody is harassing you not permitting to do anything then also you can write a pil to sue the legal process was greatly simplified and even a letter or a telegram addressed to the supreme court or the high court could be treated as a pil just write a letter telling this is a problem so otherwise you go to police station or the court it takes a lot of time and dockets will file then today no time tomorrow no time court will boss no like that things will go on so if it's urgent matter this is the one must not third that you are just that a lot of work by this kind of pl something public investigation did you know that the mid day meal that children now receive in our government aided and aided schools is because of pl okay children now you know children are getting menu uh, mid day meal hot mid day meal should be provided so it was by an organization filing a case in the supreme court that so much of food items are being wasted in different parts of the godowns of india and that should be given to the children so that the children will come to the school at least for having food minimum when naturally when they come to school to have food naturally they will listen to the class rules they will come to the class and parents who are very poor cannot give one time meal to the child will be allowed to let him go to school at least one time let him eat so in those kind of things were there the case was filed in the supreme court and supreme court has uh, accepted it and given it judgment you see and no much expenditure is no much advocates are needed so court has taken the decision as one of pa okay in 2001 the dot in rajasthan and orissa meant that millions faced the acute shortage of food is in 2001 even it is there was a drought you know when drought is there agriculture is not possible so most of the indian citizens are living on agriculture and agriculture was not possible they could not earn anything when they could not earn anything naturally it affected their daily so nothing to eat but the government got out for full of grain being eaten away by rats when the bottoms are the food corporation of india stocks the uh, food items and keep them and those uh, food items were being eaten by rats because nobody takes care of it so the public interest litigation was filed and told that this is a reality please order the government to distribute the food items stored in the godowns and supreme court has taken the initiative and it has ordered and the mid day meals and other things have come up because of this hunger limits plenty and organization called the people's union of civil liberties or pucl called the people's union of civil liberties pucl filed a pil in the supreme court they filed a pil and supreme court has taken the decision okay it stated that fundamental rights so this is supreme court judgment supreme court stated that the fundamental right to be life guaranteed in article 
21 it is a fundamental right because our life cannot be uh, taken away by liberty that means we cannot be killed okay so if you want to live you need a food so article 21 of the constitution includes the right to food if, if the government can give it should be given should not waste the materials uh, grains in the public system so provide it to the people distribute to the people that was told by supreme court of india by using the article 921 where the right to life is there for a living good life we need a food dots the states excuse that did not have adequate funds was shown to be wrong because the board owns were all going in grains they told we cannot provide food to everybody government has told we are not having money or food materials are not available then supreme court has ordered the things to be studied and found out in the godowns of india plenty of grains are there so that should be collected and distributed to the people who are not having order was come from. when the order has come from the supreme court the government is bound to obey no excuses so that is it the supreme court ruled that the state had a duty to provide food to all so persons who are not having food should be provided by the court that's why the ration shops and all those things are there government sometimes give free food when there is in this year drought time and in many ration shops or ration shops the government give free food to the people so it is a responsibility of the government so all these things happen because of the pil it directs the government to provide more employment it to provide food at the cheaper prices so the government and the ration shop and to provide maintain means to children children those are coming to school should be provided with the food at least once they will take one time they need so that was all it appointed two food commissioners to report on the implementation of the government scheme so how should be implemented check verify and give a report so commissioners of two officers were appointed by the government the courts interpret the article 21 of the constitution the right to life to include right to food so it was told include right to food in the article number 21 We have right to life. That nobody can take away the right to life except the legal procedures. Somebody can be can by the government. Otherwise, no other person's life should be taken by anybody else. So, it is it. Provide them food. You tell you live. You put a live in. But he is not having any means of job. He is not having any money. Naturally, he will die. Then how can he live? So he needs the food. so so thank you very much